Local at 5 today, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency announcing that the city of Springfield and its partner Public Health Institute of Western Massachusetts were selected to receive nearly $20 million in funding. 22 News reporter Melissa Torres explains how these funds will help communities tackle environmental and climate justice challenges. So well, next year, the city will be able to create projects that reduce pollution, increase community climate resilience, and build community capacity. From retrofitting homes and removing lead hazards to converting city buildings to clean energy and expanding the tree canopy, as well as investing in community solar and workforce training programs. The city of Springfield is helping turn that vision into a reality by providing the community with the necessary resources to make that happen. With this grant, um, we can demonstrate a model in which you bring multi-sector collaborations, community resident voices, grassroots community-based organizations, all at the table to look at the issue of climate resiliency and address it from multiple tiers and multiple levels, from the built environment level to the um, healthy homes level, but also from the advocacy level of what do communities of color need the most. This partnership will create two resiliency hubs in Springfield that are city owned and adding geothermal energy to turn them into heating and cooling centers throughout the year. They will also be planting 1500 trees to address the heat island effect. And lastly, they hope to reconfigure the West Street corridor by creating better pathways for people to walk and bike so we can cut down on those CO2 emissions. For now, working for you, Melissa Torres, 22 News.